Kerbal Space Program 2 comes out in early spring of 2020. So I thought I would go back and play Kerbal 1, Feral Crafter Edition. Hey guys, Feral Crafter here. <clears throat> Since I figured out the problem last time, I decided to continue on. <clears throat> I have accepted Radial Mount Parachute and Flee. So this one is just to sit on the pad and use it. This one seems a little more complex, 2,000 to 9,000, 140 to 260. So hopefully, now I've decided that I should probably go ahead and just play around ahead of time so I don't look like a complete noob. Um, unfortunately, that's gonna happen no matter what, but at least it will be minimal. Um, parachutes, the flea, the flea, Can you adjust this down to, what was it, 70 I think worked? Yeah. So, what we need to do is test the radial parachute. This one, as you can see, the flea is just to, <laughs> to sit on the launch pad, which that's done. And I believe, I believe the other pilot is stuck in orbit. Check. Wasn't he stuck in orbit? Or did I kill him? Oh, I hope I didn't kill him. Okay, well, that's the risk. So now, uh, no. We want this. Yeah. Crew report. Fantastic. Okay. Damn it, I did it again. Oh well. So <clears throat> just using that one alone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And now we're above two thousand. We're below two sixty, one forty. Whoop! All done. Thank God these missions were completable. So, let us just rush to the ground, huh? Whee! And this is. <laughs> normally, that would twist up the parachutes and we plummet to our death, but. Welcome to gameplay. And oh, so gentle. Oh my. Hopefully, that came out well. Ground! Yay! Um. More science! Fantastic! <laughs> How high do I have to be on this one? I don't mean drug-wise, I mean altitude. If I remember right, I hate these jobs because you have to like fly across the world, get them, and that's it. Um, but then you can't get back because you spent like two hours flying. Um, so surveys, no, no surveys and observations. Observation, no. Uh, that's a pain in the ass. Not until higher levels. Uh, we can test this. Launch site, yeah. Mm hmm. We could definitely do that one. Uh huh? Huh. <laughs> Can we double up the heat shield? Just be stacking one on top of the other one? This one was the pain in the ass. Splashdown. Really? Where? How? Who? What? Huh? I didn't get it. I have an idea. Mm hmm. Hmm. Lovely. 
and the other one's going underneath. Uh huh. Same setup. But this time. All of it. And let's just. I'm pondering SMGs. Let's just do it, shall we? <clears throat> you feeling what I'm laying down? No fins. We're good. We're golden. I don't see how this could possibly go wrong. <laughs> not at all. Not one bit. Nope, not at all. Let's do two hammers and slap them on here. Let's just do two, shall we? Looks about right. That looks a lot better. <clears throat> so with that, we'll actually need heat resistance from the tip. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's make it happen. I can't see how anything could go wrong. This is going to be flawless. It's going to be perfect. See? Ah, perfect. Flawless. Other than the solid boost rockets are going to finish out early. And we're just going to have to wait. Okay. Does it have enough force to continue to increase the velocity? And the answer is yes! But will we meet the heat capability necessary for testing the heat shield? And... There we go. Full velocity, please. For the love of God and all that is holy, holy moly. Use the run test option. When? In the parts contest when all test conditions are met. Landed. Landed. Excellent. Run test, run test, fantastic. Science! Still not close to 45. We'll need to keep going on this. Lovely. Money is climbing. No experience. Okay. And that's going to be it for now. So, I tested both heat shields at once. Our money has increased. Our science has increased. I need 45. And the reason for 45 is apparently this glorious device does some amazing stuff. So we're going to continue doing uh, the tests, and uh, I will catch you in the next recording. 
Thank you for watching.